everyone. This is Crispy1001 at kpcoolstuff.com. This is a um, correction to video 24, um, how to make a 3D gauge. So, yeah, correction to making 3D gauge coding and animations or animating. Captain X at um, fsdeveloper.com told me that I had some errors in the video and they're very important um, errors he pointed out to me. So let's go ahead and open up Blender. Um, the issue that I was having with my gauge, I mean my um, compass not pointing correctly is because of um, I did not have the animations linear so we're going to show you how to do that now so we're going to go back to our um, airspeed um, gauge so you want to make sure that you have selected your needle and we're going to remake the keyframes for it so let's <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that. This is one of the points he showed me that um, he was telling me I should not manually rotate the needle. I should find out um, what the full sweep of the needle is going to be in degrees and then half that and then do a keyframe at half and then the last um, keyframe would be for the full rotation or movement of the needle. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do a, a, let me turn on key cast or screen cast. Okay, so we're going to um, make sure our animation starting at zero and we're going to hit rotate and on the Y axis I'm going to go ahead and rotate all the way around. And if you look, well, I can't point to it while I'm doing it, but if you look down in the left um, bottom corner, as you rotate, you can see that it's counting in degrees for you. And if I move it to right there, I'm reading 338. So let's hit escape. escape. 338. So I'm going to open up calculator, put in 338 divided by 2, so 169 degrees. So what I'm going to do, um, I already have a key, let's go ahead and add a keyframe for this point. So I and rotation, that's for our starting um, keyframe for rotation. Remember our animation length on this is 0 to 100, I mean 200, so we're going to go to 100. I think that was, okay, 169. So we are going to rotate Y 169 and enter. We're going to hit I to do a keyframe and rotation. We will then go ahead and hit 200. I'm clicking. I'm put in 200 on our animation. We will rotate Y again, 169, and enter. And I and rotation. So that fixes the um, animation problem I had. So let's put our animation back to zero. And then the other problem that he said I had was that I left the animations in default and they're not a linear um, movement on the needle for the animation. He said it would the animation begins fast, then slows down, and then goes fast again at the end. So what he said to do, let's open up a new one. Let me close this a little bit. 
open a new window and we're going to go to graphic editor or I mean graph editor and you can see our keyframes here let me open this up a little more how they're very staggered they're not equal distance from each other so what we want to do with that needle still selected so we can see its um, keyframes we want to go to key interpolation however you pronounce that interpolation mode and go to linear now if you relook at it now we have equal distance between our key points or our keyframes so that took care of my problem when I did that on the um, compass it also helped me on my um, attitude gauge and then we just go ahead and save you'd want to do that for all your different gauges make sure you change it by going key and linear and you can go ahead and close that resave and re export your model file and then you can test it in FSX again so sorry about those errors but it was something I didn't know I'm learning too and just trying to pass on the knowledge I get I thank Captain X or Mr. Felix very much for that information and thanks for watching bye